Every human being has one thing that, I mean, they have several, but there's one that's universal to everybody when we're young, and that's that we dream. We all have a dream. Every one of us in this room, when we were young as a child, maybe we couldn't qualify it. Maybe we couldn't quantify it. But the fact of the matter is, we had dreams. Sometimes it was in the driveway at our home when we'd play basketball, and maybe it was just with yourself, but you would dream. What was it like to be the star player? And you'd play that out. You would live it out. Young little girls do it with their Barbies. Every one of us, we have a dream. Here's the question I want to pose to you. What is a real dream and what is God's dream? I contend that most people I meet, even parts of my life, that my dream was not God's dream. And we chase these dreams And I contend that it's a lot of the reason why we can grow to be frustrated. We talked about that last week. There's this fundamental thing that is in all of us, and I find it interesting that Paul writes that I, God, I can do things exceedingly abundantly beyond anything that you could dream. I don't think we understand that verse. Because I think it's that we have a dream and then God wants to do more with that dream and I contend that's wrong thinking. I think most of the time the reason we don't experience God's exceedingly abundantly dream is because it's not his dream that we've been dreaming. What is life really all about? What is it that you really want to accomplish? And I think what does God really want to accomplish? That's this film. It is a film that I will just share with you that when we began to show it to a handful of our leadership, uh, there was a lot of tears. That's my hope. I hope I can take you to a place that maybe it might be quite painful, but it's time to do the real business and take a look at what God really cares about and what life is really all about. I'm gonna ask you to bow your heads. Father, here we are. A dream. We all have one. We all do it. Maybe we've given up. Be that as it may, the fact of the matter is there's something that you put in all of us. Have we abandoned that? Have we lost it? Has our life really been about following you or us dreaming and then wanting you to bless that? God, I pray that you would help us in this moment. Allow us to do real business to what really matters, what it's really all about. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
too little His hands could hold the world But it'll never be enough Never be enough For me Never, never Never, never Never For me For me I think of those words that P.T. Barnum just said as he's standing on the beach with his wife. I wanted to be more than I was. I want you to think about that for a moment. Why do so many people live the way they live? Why do I at times? Is my identity really out there in what I accomplish? I mean, as Christians, we like to say it starts in here. But I even disagree with that. I don't think it just starts in here. It's just all in here. 
It's either my dream or his dream. I say it often, I've said it throughout the years. There's only two gods. There's your way or there's Yahweh. A dream. What is life really all about? What is it about us that we, we, we long so much to gain the world? That we get their approval. We have the big house, the three car garage. What is it about us that we just need that album, the book, cover of a magazine? We dream it. I'm a guy, I'm 59 people. There's a lot of people who love to say they love sports, but I'm gonna guess because I think I understand how God made us that most men today will watch a football game, not just because they like sport, but there'll be a part of them wondering, what would that be like? We have this inner longing, don't we? We all want to be something. We all want to be someone. We all want to contribute. But I don't think that's what life's all about. In the beginning, God created Adam and Eve, and that was it. It's not good for man to be alone, and God's perfect creation was this amazing joy that we would find in him and in each other. No need to try to outdo someone else. No need to be better than someone else. But it wasn't enough for Adam and Eve. And the lie was said and they bought it. If you eat of this fruit, you'll be like him. I don't think we recognize what's really going on in that moment. I'm not okay with who I am. I'm not okay with what you made me, God. And they buy into the lie. 25 years I've been your senior pastor. Learned a lot in 25 years. As I look ahead to a final chapter of my life, Every day over these last six months, I find myself looking at my wife, Kay, thinking, everything I'd ever want, everything I'd ever need, it's here right in front of me. And this is where I want to be. What more does God ask but to love him and to love Kay. What, what more? People ask me, how am I doing with this transition? I'm doing incredible. Because it's not about celebrate. It's not about what I do. It's about the who and the few. What more do we want than that? But it's so often what creates the problem. And we miss what's right here, right now. You want to be a witness to the world, Jesus said? How you love one another will show to the world that you're mine. It's not the book, it's not the record, it's not the applause, it's how you love one another. What is your dream? Is it God's? I've been living mine, absolutely living mine. And it is so fulfilling. It is so amazing to me. I'm going to ask you to bow your heads because my guess is that there's some in this room that maybe this needs to be a moment 
that the chase needs to end. How many opportunities to be with someone has been sacrificed because of a business trip? Please hear this. I understand that those things are part of life, but I will guarantee you I've seen it too often for too many. It is their life. They're known for a thousand acquaintances at the sacrifice of a handful of deep, meaningful friendships. Nothing changes till you say, <laughs> it's enough. I am who I am, God, because of you. You made me me. I like me. And I do have a place in this world because I have peace with God. See, you don't need to keep chasing, thinking success is out there. Success is in you if it's in Christ. And you'll find yourself in Christ with the greatest dream of all. Can you say that to him right now? Father, I love film for such moments like this. This is an amazing film of a story of a real life person, but it's really all our life. So much of us Just like last week, something in our past is always holding us, driving us. But we can just let all that go. We keep saying we're living, looking ahead, but if there's any moment of our past, then we're looking back. And there's no forward moment, momentum at all. It is what it is. And to look at my bride this morning and leaving the house, seeing my youngest, seeing the grandchildren yesterday, wow, everything I'd ever want, everything I'd ever need. To walk with you, to talk with you, and to hear you tell me I am your own, the joy that we share when we tarry there, none other is ever known. God, may that be our anthem. May that be the depth of who we are. May that be our dream. God, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Amen. Look forward to sharing the rest of the day with you. God bless.